It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC North. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Baltimore Ravens, and it's all up next. Welcome to Baltimore's Inner Harbor. 70,000 plus have filled M&T Bank Stadium since 1998, the home of the Ravens. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. But come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. And when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. Here's Evan McPherson. And off we go here in Baltimore. He'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Ravens led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Lamar Jackson, already season seven. Greg, he's won a couple of MVPs, and he's as talented as we see in the league. Is there a more exciting guy in the NFL to watch play quarterback than this guy, Mike? I mean, one of the most dynamic athletes to ever play the position. And what's truly unique about him is his ability to beat you both as a runner and equally as a passer. And that's really where his game has developed. Defensive coordinators, they don't sleep very much when they know they're facing this guy and all the problems that he presents. First play from the 25, and they'll throw. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterback's lucky on that one, Mike, that that ball ended up just harmlessly falling to the ground. It was that initial pressure that got to him that forced the errant throw. And Fortunately for this offense, that ball didn't end up going the other way. They'll try again here. Second and ten. From the gun, Jackson. That's caught. Derrick Henry. Here now, third and five. Now, Jackson. Now a screen set up for Henry. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops, and... Just nowhere for that back to go. A fair catch signal, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Bengals' offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow, and they keep him healthy because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU, took this team to the Super Bowl, now Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. We're about to watch one of the most gifted passers in the league, Mike. And it's not only just his arm talent. That's, of course, off the charts. But his ability to process, his ability both pre- and post-snap to operate maybe on a little bit of a different level than some of the other quarterbacks around the league. I mean, he is surgical with his approach. And he's on the short list of truly elite quarterbacks we have to offer in this league. And for us to get a front-row seat, man, how special is that? Second down and eight. Throwing is Burrow. Quickly, this one out to Chase. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. In a lot of offenses, Mike, these quick passes to the wide receivers really fall under the run category. Of course, they're going to go down as a forward pass, but to a lot of offensive coordinators in the league, it's a lot easier to pick up first and second down yardage on these quicks than it is to turn around and hand it off to your running back and count on 
and blocking everybody. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. First and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the tongue. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Second and a yard. They'll run here with Brown. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. The offense thinks that they can just kind of plow this one up there in the middle and keep the chains moving, but not on this defense. Not only do they not pick up the first down, but after suffering that loss, now they've got some decisions to make on third. He's going to have a Bengals first down. They're able to get the third down conversion. Offense. Ready now for their second drive. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. He'll complete this one to Rashad Bateman. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Aguilar goes off in motion. Now the Ravens' big ticket free agent acquisition. It's Derrick Henry. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. On third down, Jackson. He's got his tight end. That's Andrew. And the 
defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but anytime on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. Jackson going to keep it himself. And some good running there. He'll fall forward for about seven. You know, Mike, early in my time in Carolina, we were kind of on the forefront of this NFL zone read revolution. Cam Newton, one of the best to ever do it. I have seen up close and personal, when you run the zone read the right way, it is a nightmare for a defense to defend. On second down, here's a run with Henry. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. In the shotgun, here's Jackson. Coming up, and that's the tight end likely. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allowed the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Off the play fake, Jackson going up top and looking for flowers. There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed, and he's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. And the work this Close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. They have converted twice on third down on this drive, and they need a yard here with third and one. And it looks like he's got enough for the first down. Let's wait for the mark. Yes. That run, that's enough to move the chains. Going to go right back to Henry. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Second down, Jackson. He'll get it into the hands of Zay Flowers. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They're going to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack. So don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, probably for the rest of this game. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Now Lamar going to hang on to it. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. The decision whether to keep the ball or to hand it to the back happens so fast. In this case, the quarterback thinks it was a keep read. The defense was there ready to stop him. Tackle for loss. They'll motion over Flowers. On play action, here's Jackson. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. 
That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. Good drive now faces a tough conversion. It is third and long. possession of this game like it resulted in a punt not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds they get the ball back for possession too now they try to find some rhythm find their identity of the game plan and they come away with six so that's how you bounce back in this league it's not always going to be perfect really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession now justin tucker for the point after The kick is good. And the Ravens will take a 7-0 lead. There is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. Charlie Jones now to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Bengals offense ready to take over for their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Here's first and ten. Jones motioning here. His show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. So after one, seven nothing is our score. We'll be back in Baltimore after this. Here's a second and six. out of the gun, Burrow, and a good effort there defensively, it's knocked away, and incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield, I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Come out of the gun here on third down. We'll try to run for it. Really nice job here. Not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. That's to his tight end, Eric Hall. A game there of 11. And the Bengals going to have a first down. Nice catch here by the young rookie tight end, Eric All. Looking back to college, Mike, it's really been the injuries. It's been a torn ACL, back surgery in 22. 
because as far as the skill sets involved to play tight end in the NFL, he can really do it all. He is a well-rounded, true inline wide tight end. If he can show the Bengals that he's healthy and he can remain on the field, I think there's a lot of things he can do to play impact on this Bengals offense going forward his rookie season. a critical area on the field Mike between the hash marks and the numbers everyone wants to control the middle of the field every offense is targeting it. so what does the defense do they really pack it so for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter it just really stresses these defenses especially in their coverages Burrow now to throw on first down open man is the tight end sample Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Second down, Burrow. Spaces down there, things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Bengals will level things out at seven apiece. to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. Justice Hill to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. In motion comes Andrews. A first down throw for Jackson. There's a short one caught by Andrews. It's the tight end likely in motion. Jackson now on second down. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Zay Flowers, the intended receiver. Now it's going to be third down.
from the gun, Jackson. And this ball incomplete on third down. They're trying to take the top off the defense, make them feel that vertical threat and soften everything up. Wasn't a ton of separation downfield, at least not what they would have preferred, and ends it up being a wasted down. Here's Jordan Stout now, as he's on to punt for the second time. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Bengals offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. second down. This one really burns me. I mean, man, I wish my fellow tight ends catch every ball the entire game, but to be this open and not come down with it, I'm going to have to set a reminder. Next year at TEU, we're going to have to bring out some jugs machines. And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle's made just shy of the 40. bring Chase in motion on first down Burrow to the left side caught by Chase they'll come up now for second down and four is Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea of what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. Back to throw, Burrow. Off balance throw, it's complete. And he's gonna pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. This is a great example of where just having situational awareness is so critical in the huddle. When every one of those receivers, Mike, breaks the huddle and go line up, they've gotta know where that first down marker is. If your route calls, get by it, secure the catch, and bring up a fresh set of downs. First down throw for Burrow. This one complete to Higgins. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. On first and ten, Burrow. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. T. Higgins, the intended receiver on that one. And it'll be second down. The tight end going in motion to the left. 
Now second down throw for Burrow. That one finds Chase. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. After that last completion on the way back to the hoe, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help, because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That is pulled in at the five. To the goal line. On is McPherson for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Bengals will move out to a 14-7 lead. TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. Here comes Hill on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. So here's the Baltimore offense getting set for their next drive. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. It's the tight end likely in motion. Jackson fires complete to Flop. Oh, he doesn't put it away, and the ball's out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds. So no turnover, and it's actually going to wind up a first down. That's a gain of 14 and a first down. So first and 10 here now at the 38. Galore goes off in motion. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. From the 39, here's a first and 10. They'll motion over Flowers. On the ground, here's Henry. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It will set up second down. Give it to Henry. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Third down, three to go. Here's Lamar. He'll keep it on the zone read. And they bring him down to 23, but that will do just fine. 
Move the chains. First down picked up. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll try to throw here with Jackson. That is left side and caught by Flowers. Second down, Jackson. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you. And all I know is firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. Now a screen set up for Henry. And he'll be out of bounds, but he has the first down inside the 10-yard line. It's first and goal. The best time to call a screen is when the defense is anticipating pass. Allow that defensive front to rush the passer. Just get through the offensive line enough before you drop it to your back. Get out behind those big offensive linemen and pick up the first down. Now it is first and goal. Bateman is the motion man. First and goal, and it's Henry. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll come back to Baltimore after this. Ball right on the five-yard line, second down and goal. They put a receiver in motion to the left. Play action now. Jackson. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. The shotgun, here's Jackson. And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Lamar Jackson. Touchdown, Baltimore. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Tucker's extra point, up and good. And the Ravens will tie things up. We are all even at 14. So back to level after the touchdown. And time for the kickoff. On the return is Chase Brown. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Jamar Chase headed back out there along with the rest of his Bengal teammates. This one, everything we could have hoped for at this point. All even at 14. He'll start this drive with first down.
Backing out of the gun, Burrow. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. second down oh and this one's going to wind up incomplete that's one you'd think he'd be able to corral he can't find the handle and it's going to lead to a third down defense got lucky on that one there's no one accounting for the running back out of the backfield as they should have and fortunately for them he bails him out by not securing the catch Burrow from out of the gun here on third down He's got his receiver, it's Jones. That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one, good for 13 yards. And this is why most teams, Mike, decide to take the ball first after the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four. At the end of the first half, you can use your timeouts. You can use some strategy to steal an extra possession. If they're able now to go down and come away with points, they will have a chance to double it up again right after the halftime break. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. The defensive coaches, they preach all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Burrow. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. They come to the line, needing 11 here on third down. To throw is Burrow. Taking off, he'll try to get there. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain, and they mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. And that's a pretty good effort here on third and long. He had nowhere to go down the field. The defense is playing real soft. He pulls it down and did all he could, but he's still going to end up being short of the first down. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. So they come to the line for first down and 10. And they'll let Dr. run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we've reached halftime here. It has been an entertaining first half. As we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically, for the coaches, Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Could not ask for more from that first half. All even as we begin quarter number three. Jones now on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. 
out comes Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense to take over once more. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and we'll try to sustain it here down the stretch. Jones motioning here. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And a short pickup to about the 30. Here's second and nine. defense in the end it turns into a loss of yards with how fast they were all over that play you almost wonder mike was there a pre-snap tell did they know that play was coming because i'll tell you that defense was on it from the start third down and nine Burrow to throw to the middle of the field caught by higgins it's a gain of 12 there it's a Cincinnati first down. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route, and then next thing you know, he gets to his break point, he breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. They'll come up here first and ten. Going back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. He'll work his way ahead for a game of about four. Second down, Burrow. the catch and he's taken down inside the opponent's 35 this pass defense it, it just has to be better than this Mike they have to do a better job accounting for everybody in their coverages they have to play their defense exactly according to the plan because if not this quarterback has enough weapons he can spread the ball out and find the open space we'll find Brown out of the backfield and he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Here's Burrow. Here's third and two. Throwing is Burrow. And on third down, that ball incomplete. It's just a matter of time. I don't care how good you are or how good a hand you have. You are going to drop passes. It is inevitable in the NFL. But it's the guys that don't let one drop pass lead to two. They have the ability to put it behind them, move forward, and now you can't wait for that next ball to be thrown their way. McPherson's kick is good. And the Bengals move out in front. The new score, 17 to 14.
McPherson now after making the field goal is set to kick this one off here comes Hill on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Ravens offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half this one has been tight so far a field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten Jackson now. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. Ah, they smelled the screen and took care of it. Blown up in the backfield. Well, the best screen plays, of course, you want the offensive lineman out in front of the running back. They act as his escort, his lead blockers. But what you can't afford is for the defenders to be in the backfield and get to the running back because those offensive linemen, they can't help them at all. Aguilar goes off in motion. Jackson now on second down. Aguilar able to make the catch. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. It almost seemed like the defender was getting the play call sent into his helmet, just like the quarterback, because he knew the play before they even snapped the ball, and that play had no shot. Jackson. He'll try and get there on the ground. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. Sometimes it's just the case of taking what the defense gives you. And here's one of those examples. There's nowhere for him to go with the ball for a minute. It looked like he was going to be able to pick up this first down with his legs. The defense rallies, brings him down short of the first down marker, sets up fourth down. Ravens bring their punt team out. Fair catch made here. The drive will start at the 23-yard line. The Bengals offense and Joe Burrow set to take over again. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Back to throw, Burrow. Open man is the tight end sample. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Second down throw for Burrow. Hit as he throws and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So... Give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one, -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. We'll try again here, second and 10. Motion man is the tight end going right. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that 
time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. Now, Burrow. And that is incomplete. Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. There's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. Wallace now on the return. And that's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense ready to take over once again. They'll begin with first and ten. They'll start out on the ground with Henry he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Aguilar goes off in motion. He'll go again here with Henry. Henry rumbles to the first down and more. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Henry. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no game. They'll run the draw, and here's Henry. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Great job by the defense here, quickly realizing that this was going to be a draw. They're not caught off guard thinking that they're defending the pass. They're able to not only get in there for a stop, but they're able to take them down in the backfield for a loss. On third down, Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. He's just unable to secure the catch through the contact and really nice job timing that hit up by the defense. And at this point, all you can do is get up, get back in the huddle, and hope your quarterback gives you another shot. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Bengals offense and running back Chase Brown headed back onto the field. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. just a couple second down and eight here's Brown and he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage but will not happen here he's going to lose a yard some defensive ends specialize in getting after the quarterback. Some defensive ends specialize in run game. This guy can really make an impact on both, as we saw here for that tackle for loss. 
third and nine. To throw is Burrow. He'll check this down to the running back. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. The Bengals out and ready to punt. As he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The home team's offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. It's the tight end likely in motion. On first down, they'll start the drive with Henry. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten from the gun Jackson Back to the right side he's got Andrews here's a second and nine From the shotgun, here's Jackson. Right back to Andrews. He's got another one. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. He'll try and run for this with Henry. Much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. And what a play by the interior of this defensive line. There was nowhere to run. He's able to get in the backfield for a big stop, and it sets up fourth down. A field goal, no gimme from this distance. They'll go on fourth down. They'll run for it with Henry. And he's going to have the oh, Ravens, and he's going to have the Chargers. So, three quarters now in the books. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. First down throw for Jackson. The throw to the left side, caught by Andrews. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. It's the tight end likely in motion. Play action now. Jackson. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players. And I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts. It allows them to be in the right spot at the right time. And 
Allows him to make the play. Aguilar goes off in motion. Third and short, Jackson. He gets that to the veteran Aguilar. 11 yards on the pass there. First down, Baltimore. And how about the poise of this quarterback? You find yourself down here late in the fourth quarter, Mike, facing a tough third down. You've got to have it. But you know what? He calls the play, he breaks the huddle. He's like, you know what, Coach? I got it. That's a big-time throw to now keep this drive alive as they go down looking for that go-ahead touchdown. They'll stick to the ground. He'll get inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Bateman is the motion man. They'll run. And he's close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him short. Put him down at the one. Here we go. Burr and a yard. Whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. A big play looming here. They need to convert. It is third and inches. Henry tries to pull his way in. game this has been back and forth we go and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time and we've seen the lead go back and forth Mike and now the question is can they get a stop can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win point after now from Tucker It's up and through. And the Ravens move out in front by four. It's 21 to 17. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Heading out now, the Cincinnati offense. They're going to get set to take over once more. Trail by four. Touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. motioning here a first down throw for Burrow and that's going to wind up incomplete I know this play results in an incomplete pass but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback his clock was going off he felt that rush he had no immediate target to go to with the ball instead throw it away don't take the sack live for another day Burrow here on second down. Pushed by Higgins, who makes the grab. They get 12 yards on that pass, and the Bengals going to have a first down. 
pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And they're working together like this. That's the definition of teach tape. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Hovered very strong defensively. It's second down. It's his ability to change direction. He's able to go from his back pedal to then driving that route fast enough that he gets to the ball immediately as it arrives, and he's able to knock it down. They'll run here. And a good run there on second down. A pickup of seven. It'll bring up third and three. is Burrow. That is caught. Finding Higgins. And they finally catch up with him, but it's a big play, taking it into the red zone. It seems like the best offenses in the league all rely heavily on yards after the catch. And this is a great example of why if you can deliver an accurate pass on the move with the speed and the elusiveness of some of these guys in the league, it is a handful in the open field for the defense to tackle. So, here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Looking out of the gun, Burrow. The five Brown out of the backfield. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as the tackles made it about the five-yard line. Here in the fourth quarter, you just can't predict how many possessions you have left, so you can't let any of them go to waste. So far, this has been a fantastic drive. It's a drive that they desperately needed. They continue to throw the ball like that. They got a chance to take a late lead here in the fourth quarter. Burrow now. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. For the lead, here is third and goal. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. That one taken in. Chase Brown. Touchdown, Bengals. So when you find yourself this tight to the goal line, Mike, the offense becomes a lot more restricted in as far as how deep you can throw the ball. The field is wider than it is long, and... I think the idea here is let's spread them out. Let's put all of our eligibles out there and let the quarterback get a really good picture. Where are the holes in the coverage? Where are the one-on-one -on -one matchups that I like? And let's put this ball in the quarterback's hand. Let him make a good decision. And in this case, it results in a touchdown. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And the Bengals extend the advantage to a field goal. It's 24 to 21. So now, playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Tylen Wallace now on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. The home team's offense ready to get back to work. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and 10.
Bateman is the motion man. Off the play fake. Jackson. There's a short one caught by Andrews. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. On play action, here's Jackson. A deep shot for Aguilar. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. There is no worse feeling either coming back to the huddle or the sideline after a big drop, and that was a beautifully designed play, perfectly placed ball, and he just couldn't make the grab. Big play coming up. This is third down. Now Jackson. And this ball incomplete on third down. These are the kind of plays that give running backs bad names. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this. You're wide open. The ball's on target. He just flat out dropped it. Ravens sending the punt team out there. They'll be forced to punt, trailing here in the fourth quarter. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The visitor's offense and T. Higgins set to take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. Now Brown. And this will gain a couple of yards to the 22-yard line. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Now, Burrow. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think you'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. That's complete to all the tight ends. teams out to the field ready for this punt as they try to play the field position game here protecting the fourth quarter lead this one fielded out beyond the 25 and he'll get forward a few yards on the return and that's where the offense will take over First and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Try again, it's second and ten. Burrow. Out the left side there, not going to find the time. Incomplete. And this game almost just flipped completely on his head. You find yourself with a lead 
just trying to milk the clock away in the fourth quarter, and that's a gift. And that defender just flat out drops the ball, and if he's able to secure that takeaway, this game looks very different for this offense. He's got a receiver. It's Chase. Call it a game of 13. It's a Cincinnati first down. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense. You don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock. But the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. On first down, Burrow. He'll get that to all his tight end. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three fourth come. The run here with Brown. And he'll be near the first down marker. It's called a game of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. So what does it mean? One, make the defense use all of their remaining timeouts. Two, continue to pick up first downs, milk the clock. And then three, if possible, finish with the ball in your hands. They go play action for... And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the set. Roquan Smith, the one who gets in there and takes him down. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back, Mike, because when they used him as a decoy, nobody fell for it. By the time he finished his fake and got his head around, the defense was all over. in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They try the right side this time. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Whistles here and a timeout. Defense going to take this one with 1.51 to go. Well, a touchdown here could be the capper to a victory. It is first and goal. Here's a run. He slowed up quickly as he gets this down to the six. The Ravens now going to use their final timeout. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. Gasicki, the man in motion. On second and goal, they'll give him another shot. He 
is in. Chase Brown, touchdown Cincinnati. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And that's exactly how you stress all week finishing a game. Get the ball and leave no doubt. But that late touchdown, Mike, that should all but just seal this victory away. McPherson now for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Bengals will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. to the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away here comes Hill on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Ravens offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession the deficit is at 10 so an important drive forthcoming getting started with first and 10 They'll drop to throw, and he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. That's to the right side, and incomplete. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided, even before seeing the coverage, where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. On third down, Jackson. inside the 10 it is going to be first and goal it's not a coincidence Mike that the best offenses in the NFL are all excellent at yards after the catch it's a combination of a few things a highly accurate quarterback and the ability of the scheme to get open players in open space once you do that the rest is up to them that's going to wind up incomplete but a penalty flag is down on the play let's see what that's all about Second and goal. Jackson up top again. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. Again, it's Jackson. And this is going to be a touchdown. Hold everything. They are not done yet. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. Extra point try now for Tucker. Oh, 
The kick is good. Important extra point. The difference is just three. A field goal here in the fourth quarter. The timeouts are gone, so this becomes a must. They're going to line up for the onside kick. Pass midfield. That was their last shot. They've got no timeouts left. Now the offense can just simply come take the field. Best play in football, Mike. Victory formation. Take a couple knees. Get on with the win. The Bengals offense and their quarterback, Headed out for their next possession. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense. Keeping the mistakes to a minimum. On point with his passes. Generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's first and ten. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an eight. 